This strange device converts two-way rotation to one-way rotation. No matter which direction you turn the crank, the output will always be clockwise. And in this video, I'll explain how I discovered it, reverse engineered it, and designed my own 3D printed version. Let's get started. This video was brought to you by Audible. Head to audible.com slash makersmuse or text makersmuse to 500-500 if you're in the US to start a free 30-day trial and receive your free audiobook. It shouldn't come as a surprise to many of you that I like weird mechanisms and one of my favorite places to browse for them is 507movements.com. Yes, it does exactly what it says on the tin. List 507 different types of mechanical movements from all around the world and across centuries. Now, usually the desired operation of a device is fairly obvious from the pictures to me, but this one, this one perplexed me. And I quote, number 49, alternate circular motion of the horizontal shaft produces a continuous rotary motion of the vertical shaft by means of the ratchet wheels secured to the bevel gears. The ratchet teeth of the two wheels being set opposite ways and the pawls acting in opposite directions. The bevel gears and ratchet wheels are loose on the shaft and the pawls attached to the arms firmly secured on the shaft. Yeah, pretty straightforward, right? The desired outcome is obvious, but this image, I don't know. I had to figure it out and I had to make it work. So I made my own. This is my take on the two-way to one-way mechanism designed in Fusion 360 and fully 3D printed. However, even when watching it operate, it's still not entirely obvious what's going on here. So let's break it down. The device consists of an input crank and shaft, two ratchets and a bevel gear set. These components all interact precisely to create the desired movement. The ratchet and pull permits movement in one direction only, while free spinning in the opposite direction. I 3D printed these little pulls separately because they're fairly delicate and I allowed for three in the design, but it seems you only need one for the mechanism to actually function well enough. These are then secured to the bevel gears. The bevel gears mate at 90 degrees and like almost all gears, rotate in opposite directions to the gear they're mated to. Because of this, it would be impossible for this mechanism to turn if both grey bevel gears were fixed to and driven off the axle. The, the whole thing would just bind up. But instead of being fixed to the axle, the bevel gears in this design are free to rotate on the axle independently, and instead, the ratchets are fixed to the axle with a keyway. And they face opposite directions to one another, which is really important. When the handle is turned, only one of the bevel gears is engaged with the other spinning freely with that all too familiar ratchet clicking. Clockwise, this gear engages. Counterclockwise, this gear. The gears, however, are always meshed, so when not engaged, the non-driven bevel gear rotates against the axle's rotation and around its ratchet, which is why you get the continuous noise, no matter which direction you turn the shaft. There is literally no way the red and black output gear can turn counterclockwise, ever. It's a very progressive, look to the future kind of design. Something that really surprised me when building this, other than the fact that it actually works, is that it has an incredibly low amount of play in the mechanism. In my research of other two-way to one-way mechanisms, they often involve a sliding gear that migrates locations meshing into a different gear, and it takes some time to engage. But with this thing, you can literally just rock the input back and forth just a little bit and still end up with clockwise movement. Now, there's obviously a few major disadvantages to this mechanism. For a start, the ratchets are super loud and would most likely wear out pretty fast. <laughs> but it also has to overcome the additional friction of the non-engaged gear slipping and clicking on the, the ratchet and pull all the time. So it's not exactly efficient. And to the question I'm sure many of you are asking, what happens if you back drive it? Well, uh, nothing. This mechanism can't actually be driven from the output. In one direction, both ratchets just free spin and the axle goes nowhere. 
and the other direction they both engage and the whole mechanism locks up. I have no idea what practical use this strange design has, but clearly it was used for something at some stage if it's featured in 507 mechanical movements. I couldn't find any patents related to this mechanism specifically either, but I did stumble across this video of a very similar approach to creating unidirectional movement from a rotating movement in either direction. If you have any idea what this mechanism could have been actually used for, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Maybe the input was attached to a pendulum or something and it would, you know, rock back and forth to create one directional movement, I'm not sure. But either way, it's an incredibly fun desk toy and it's even more fun to give it to family members and friends and watch them try to figure out what the heck is actually going on. Big thanks to Audible for sponsoring this video on Maker's Muse. I'm stoked to have them on board because their huge range of audiobooks has been invaluable to helping me grow my knowledge as a small business owner. I actually spent my time designing this mechanism listening to The E-Myth Revisited by Michael E. Gerber, why most small businesses don't work and what to do about it. It's a must read for anyone in the technical field wanting to make it out on their own as a business owner and Audible makes it extremely easy for me to consume. And while it might be getting colder here in Australia, it is warming up stateside, making Audible perfect for those summer road trips or early morning runs. Sign up for a free 30-day trial and get your first audiobook for free by heading to audible.com slash makersmuse or text makersmuse to 500-500 if you're in the US. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you'd like to 3D print your own version of this one-way mechanism, you can get the files here or find the links in the video description. And if you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to subscribe. It is my aim to empower your creativity through technology. I look forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Maker's Muse. Catch you later, guys. Bye.